Okay, so before we jump into this video, I want to let you guys know that last night I released the holiday stuff for Slammin'. The Issue 3 zine, I released an enamel pin with the Oreo logo, and I also released this striped shirt. Now, the zine is a pre-order, so it is for sale, but it's a pre-order, so it's going to take longer to ship, FYI, for those that um, you might not know what a pre-order is. But this and the pin will ship the following business day. I had stuff that I needed to say about it that I can't seem to remember right now. Um, all of the people who submitted photos to the zine, if you are in the zine, I contacted you directly and I let you know and I asked for your Instagram and your full name. There's a whole back page crediting all of you in the zine who made it into this one. I am going to do more stuff like this in the future, um, but yeah, all of that stuff is available. Link is in the description below. Enjoy today's video. It's in a backpack. True. Anything's possible. If anything is possible, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're just not taking no for an answer. I mean, <laughs> I understand though. I understand. You guys, look whose birthday it is. It's Is Garrett's me. birthday. That's a very unattractive angle. Is it? That's fine though, but they can look up our noses. All right, sorry. You guys, today's Garrett's birthday. Um, go down in those comments, wish Garrett a happy birthday. Thank you. And um, very sweet. go over to his channel and go Aww. to go to his description Aww. and click on the link to my channel Aww. and subscribe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Obviously, subscribe to Garrett. I'm sure you already are anyway. And subscribe to Dale. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed to Dale, then why you wa like? Why would you watch this and not subscribe? It doesn't make sense. He's right. Illuminati. Garrett's never been more right right now. The Ill Illuminati. What's the address to here? Uh, I won't tell anyone. It's a promise. I it literally smells like weed. Hmm. Tempting. <laughs> Can't do it though. I don't want to waste my time. Sorry, I should call that over to you. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, the lights just turn on when you come in here? Look at this place, guys. Here we are again. Here we is. Good job, dude. Garrett, crook the whole rail first try for your birthday. Do a feeble back tail. Can you do those? Feeble. <sighs> Can you do those? Oh no. All right, all right. Let's do a do a nose grind on the whole rail. First try. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. That was good, dude. The no especially the nollie heel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else? Do a, do a 5-0. I'm not doing the whole thing. I'll do a little baby 5-0. What about back 50? Are you good at back 50s? I'm trying to get better, so I'll try. The whole thing? Okay. Oh, that was kind of feeble. That's my weakness. Well, I'm like... 99% of other skateboarding tricks. You're good on the nose, though. That, that's what she said? <laughs> oh, you wanted me to, like, oh. I wanted you to land do, it. Do, do the trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you think I meant? Not do it? No, just like do that whole, like, Tarzan thing. Like, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. No, that's not what I meant, dude. I'm a freaking stupid idiot. Did you land that? <laughs> I have no idea. That was insane. That was actually second try though. I think there's water over here. Garrett, where's that water? I see, I see. Okay. Okay. Um, which one is the water? Look at this, dude. Just pallets. Oh, I see it. Here it is. 
water. Two or water. Every time I drink a Red Bull or a Monster, I roll my ankle. So, we're not uh, drinking one of those. And plus, I haven't drank any water at all today. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. You guys, Garrett's got a wireless mic. Everyone's got a wireless mic now. I'm not jumping on this trend. Mostly because I, <laughs> mostly because I can't afford it, though. You know, that's why. If I could afford it, though, your boy would be jumping on this trend. Uh, you guys want to see a trick first try? Something that I never do. I do. What do you do? I never do this trick. Here you go. It's kind of sticky. That wasn't first try. I mean, unless you like do what I always do and just say first try. So I can try. Okay. Do you think Nigel has ever actually skated that? It's definitely too small for him. I do not believe so. If we're being completely honest, probably never his entire life. Yeah. Oh, you know what that's for, actually? I think that's for the lessons. It is. It, the kids skate all the time for the lessons, but... Yeah. Do you know Diesel? Yeah. yeah. Well, I just met him through you. Oh, okay. Gary, do you want to do a few skateboard moves on my channel? I'll do a few maneuvers. Oh my god! How did you land that? Right now let's get like real tricks. All right. Should we do like you do a trick, then I'll do a trick, then you do a trick, yeah, then I'll do. Let's just do five tricks, but like you, me, you, me. Okay. Like five actual non-lame skateboarding tricks. All right, 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 all right. This way. This is gonna be a weird f video. Hey, it's our minute. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> That was a gnarly chick. Get it right here. For my birthday. It's my birthday present. It's so fast. But it's my birthday present. Yeah, well, don't do it if you're gonna hurt yourself. Oh! Can you like Nolly Crook? Yeah. That's so sick. I love that trick Can too. Can you do that trick? No. Really? That's like one of the dream tricks I have. Dude. My secret is thinking Nolly back 50. And like at the last. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah, the very utmost last second, put it in. So I should learn Nolly back 50s first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Dude, your autofocus is so sick. Oh, wow, that looked painful. Are you okay? I don't know. Fuck, please be alright. Please be alright. Please don't fucking tell me that I just fucking t just tore my knee again. I'll be so fucking irritated. Oh my god, please. How it hurts, it hurts. I don't know what the fuck do. Do you want me to stop filming right now? No. Oh, dude. Fuck, please be alright. I don't know if it's alright. Do, oh. do you want ice? God damn it. If I. Oh my god, dude. Lift your pants up and see if it's swollen. I mean, it's like. I just like fucking hit it weird. I can't tell. God, dude. Ice? Like last time when I, I fucking did it to this knee, and it, uh, or wait, which knee was it? I don't even remember, <laughs> I don't even remember which knee. Oh no, it was, it was this one. It was? Yeah, I, th I like, I like tore, almost tore this ligament uh, in here, but. To me it looked like it's like a direct impact, it didn't look like a tweak. Right, you know what I, mean? I just got scared yeah. this was the knee that I hurt before. I 
think we're all right. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Just be careful, Dale. Okay. I almost knocked the wind out of myself. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Let me see your chin. Is it bleeding? No, you're good. Oh, that, I heard something back here though. Like jammed your jaw in? Yeah. It's always like on the dumbest. <laughs> That's always how it works. What the? F oh my god, it's so <laughs> annoying. It's so annoying. That wasn't, that one was, that was an alley slam. That was stupid. Did you see how, <laughs> I, like, I probably look so dumb. Watch this again. <laughs> see, I look like an idiot. Why does that, why does stuff like that happen? You look like a cool idiot. But why does stuff like that happen in skating? You because it's when, you, it's when you don't think you're gonna fall that you fall. That's why people fall in the stupid shit. Because it's like, oh, I'm confident. <sighs> I literally like, uh, jabbed it into the ground. That was not really. Oh. It's so sketchy, dude. Slams his kneecap on the ground, smashes his face in the ground, and then still get that whole line first try. And he feels like... Like loose? No, not loose, because I... Last time when I tore it... Okay. So, I'm gonna tell a little story here. I'm gonna come down. So, the worst injury that I've ever had skating was Go Skateboarding Day on July of 2014. June... Go skateboarding today is June, June 21st of 2014. And I was not only flipping this like big three block at the San Diego park, and my tail broke. So I went like this, I did the splits, but my entire legs didn't do the splits. I just did the splits like this. And I almost tore the ligament that's right here. It's called your, your MCL is what it's called. I like stretched that completely thin. Luckily I didn't tear it, I don't know how I did it, but. Oh, I did tear my meniscus. Or I, that was already tore, but I tore it even worse, so they went ahead and did surgery on the meniscus, but this was fine. I don't know how, but it was, but I felt my literal knee, like, this wasn't attached. Like when I would walk, oh. my knee would like slip out because uh, the ligament wasn't there to hold it together. That's, did you have like a brace on? Yeah, I was in like this like, like full like, leg thing. Yeah, just yeah. like full brace for like I was bedridden for like two months. I couldn't. Jesus. But dude, it, like after that, like I didn't do physical therapy or anything. I just slowly started skating. So that probably made that like four hundred thousand times scarier being through exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh my god, no, 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 no. don't hurt the knee again. Well, Dale, we're good. We're good. Thank you. you scared me first. <sighs> That's my worst injury ever. Title thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you really just have to call it quits. You have to know your limits. And although everything... <laughs> I saw that, don't worry. Although everything that I was trying was within my limits, you have off days. And you gotta know when to call it on those off days. Because if you don't, and you just push yourself too far, you might uh... You're kind of just saying the same thing. Pretty much just like, you have on and off days. Some days, like the days when you learn new tricks, you're like, you're feeling it. You feel, you're feeling yourself, you yeah, know? Yeah. And then that's when you can go out and you're feeling consistent. And it's, like there's days I can't kick flip. Like there's yeah. days I'll step on a skateboard and just feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Right. And those are the days when you get hurt. So yeah. like, what I was saying is if you are, uh, like mentally aren't prepared, and, like you, in the back of your head you feel like you might get hurt, don't skate. Yeah. That's, part, that's my opinion. Yeah, it's like, it's the weirdest thing too, cause like I recently watched a Sean Malto, like documentary on him, needing ankle surgery and the way he explained it was 
you have all of the information and you have every like variable to the equation. You have all the pieces to, to be able to do the trick but it just won't work. That's just how skateboarding is. It's the craziest thing. Nothing has ever been more baffling and mind blowing in that sense to me other than skateboarding. That is true because it's like we know how to kick flip and tray flip. Like we yeah. know how to do that. Yeah. But we'll still mess it up sometimes. Right. Like you know exactly how to do it but you just go out and step on your skateboard and some days you're just like Pfft, doesn't work. We're going to leave before we die. Alright Garrett. Why are you smiling so hard? <laughs> I'll see you later dude. Alright later. Peace Fun skate session. I hope. I thought we'd need more hands. Okay yeah yeah you're right you're right. I don't want to leave you hanging like that. Alright. Um, hey let's skate soon okay? We shall. Hit me up. Whatever. All right. I, I don't really have a life or anything so. Link in description you guys if you don't know who Garrett is. I know you do but this is out of respect <laughs> for Garrett. Thank you. Much yeah. appreciated. Alright All dude. Right, later. Peace. Some people were curious as to whether or not I'm going to have more, if I'm going to have any of the older stuff in stock and the answer is no. I'm only going to have each season's stuff available for that season. There's going to be hoodies and other winter wear stuff coming out next week and the following month. So a lot of people were like, why is he releasing a t-shirt in winter? And that's just because you can wear a t-shirt all year round and I don't know, this is something that I just wanted to make. So um, with the drops. There's more stuff coming out next week, and there is another drop. There's going to be another drop in December and in January, so there will be more winter wear-ish stuff coming out. I really needed to say something else about this, and I really can't seem to remember what it was. Okay, I remembered what I was going to say. So, you guys, we all know who Young Spice is. He leaves these synopsis-type comments. They're very funny in every single video that I post. Now. I hit up your boy, Young Spice. Battery died. Okay, so I hit up Young Spice and he did a caption for every single page in the new zine. I can't believe I neglected to mention that yesterday because that is what I'm most excited about with this zine. So not only do you get the images and the submissions um, of like all of us working together, but Young Spice did captions. So it's like this little editorial that's also in the zine. That's why this zine is so special. I can't believe I neglected to mention that yesterday. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Dale, you know how to do this better than I do, right? Cut the truth.